So let me give you a little recap of this situation. I'm retired, coaching wrestling, doing some podcasts, buying some Bitcoin, enjoying life. I don't really want to fight anybody. So in November, this jabroni, Jake Paul, calls me out, puts him a poster with my name. Ha ha. It's kind of funny. Whatever. Right? No big deal. Well then, a couple weeks later, get a couple texts, then a week after that, I get some calls and I get an offer. Okay, this guy really wants to fight. Am I opposed to making some easy money beating up a YouTuber? Of course I'm not, right? So what do I do? Sure, Jacob, I'll fight you, no problem. I accept publicly on Twitter, nonetheless. Since then, Jacob's went silent. Jacob's kind of a coward. Sorry, guys. Don't think the fight's happening. I still think Ben Asker would tune him the f up. I really do. This is where we differ because I was having this conversation with Callum the other day and Callum, because I said, I said, well, he's doing the smart thing by picking Ben Asker because Ben can't strike, right? And I don't say that as, I, I love Ben. He's a great guy, he's a great personality. He had a tremendous career. But by boxing, that eradicates all of his skill set. You see what I'm saying? He is a great grappler, and that's what he forced his career on. He is not a great stand-up artist. When he fought Robbie Lawler, he walked through a storm to get his hands on him and almost got knocked out, almost got finished. Uh, and then in his other fights in the UFC, we clearly saw uh, that the striking was lacking for him to go. And, and then here's what Callum said. Callum said, yeah, but dad, he's a professional athlete. He's got the mental toughness, you know, which is true to be a successful wrestler like Ben Askren was, you have to have a certain level of mental toughness, right? Just to get through those practices, to get through those tournaments and all the rest of it, you know, physically strong, mentally strong. But it doesn't matter how mentally tough you are if you take away your skill set. He can't do anything. So it's not like they're, they're in a 50-50 situation where the mental toughness is going to come in. No, he can't strike. He can't grapple, right? Now, uh, big fight experience. Of course, Ben has the advantage there. But he's not a boxer. He is a grappler. It's as simple as that. And I don't think he's ever really gone out there and outstruck anybody, apart from on the ground. If he takes his opponent down and gets on top of them, yeah, of course he's... Uh, I remember one fight in Bellator, he beat the shit out of this Russian dude, you know, and, the, and was like high-fiving the crowd and screaming USA and all kinds. When he's in that kind of situation, of course, Ben's going to be on top. But uh, if I'm Jake Paul, that's actually a pretty smart call-out because it's someone that had a big resume in mixed martial arts, somebody that everybody knows his name, is known for being a fighter, but he can't actually box or do any kind of stand-up. So it's a great call out for uh, Jay Paul.
wasn't strictly financial for me. I actually had three or four big players when it came to negotiating contracts. So I had four awesome offers to look at. And, and after I got everybody to the price warrant that me and my manager were looking at, then we got to decide, all right, which one am I the most passionate about? And I think for myself, there was a few different things. I think everyone kind of expected me to go to Bellator because that's where my husband fights. And of course that aspect did intrigue me. I would love to fight for the same organization as him. It, it makes sense career-wise, I guess. But, you know, I the passion in me wanted to go to bare knuckle. I feel like looking at my fight career, yeah, I have, I think I have an equal amount of like submission finishes, knockouts, and, and then like a decision. And, and so for me, it was more about like, when you look at my whole fight career, the one thing that stands out above anything is how tough I am. And I've carried that through every single fight. And I think the people who really make it in bare knuckle boxing are the people who are tough. And it's a sport for only only the toughest of the tough. And that's where I want to show my worth and my value. And at the same time, I get to really utilize and sharpen what I feel is one of my best weapons. And that's my striking. And I just get to make that better and better. And oh, I may go back to MMA. We don't know. But right now, I'm, I'm truly passionate about this bare knuckle boxing. And I'm excited to see where it takes me.